Okay, so, hi. I'm back and it's time to bake. I've preheated the oven to 500, but it's not quite there yet. So until it gets there, <clears throat> a couple of things. Um, here are my bagged bowls, all chill from the refrigerator. And I basically bake them in these $39 Lodge pots. Okay. Now, there you go. Now, um, I, I learned about them from Tom Leahy, the uh, Sullivan Street Bakery uh, bread chef, who's incredible. And, um, but he would do it this way, okay? And he'd drop the dough in, inside it for a no-knead dough. Uh, mine is a kneaded dough, and he would also have you put it in the oven, in the 500 degree oven, and let it get really hot. And then you have to kind of hope you don't burn yourself trying to get the, the dough into this in, incredibly hot pot. Um, so what I did was I took the lid and I don't put it in the oven because I find the pot doesn't have to be hot. When you put the cold pot with the bread inside it and the lid on top of it and you use the base of the pot as the top, and the moisture that collects up and around the dough, it generates more than enough heat in the, in the first half hour of baking that you don't have to mess with a hot pot. So you can take your time, you can tip your dough out into the lid, you can take your time and slash it, and then you can put the lid on top and just pop it right in the oven. Um, and you'll be cooking it for the first 30 minutes at 500 degrees. Uh, and after 30 minutes, you'll take the lid off. And that's when you sort of get the proof of the pudding, when you find out whether or not uh, this was, you know, all for nothing. <laughs> uh, I've had a lot of good luck lately, so I'm hoping these come out nicely. And if they don't, I'm not going to put it up on YouTube. But if they do, I'm just going to brag about it, okay? Now, uh, the oven is only up to 355 degrees, so I'm going to pause the video. But I do want to tell you, actually, I won't pause the video. Um, I put a little polenta on the top of, on the bottom of my bread, in actuality, and I just sprinkle some on top, right in the basket. I'm working on two, two doughs here, as you may remember. And this is the lemon zest, lemon juice, cracked black pepper, olive oil bread that I'm making. And, uh, and then what I will do is I will take the lid and I will set it right there on top of the basket. I'm sure you're gonna guess what I'm gonna do after this. As soon as it comes up a little bit more temperature, it's 374, I will then turn them over and they'll come out of the basket. They'll be sitting, you'll see how beautifully they'll be sitting in the lid of this pot. And then I'll, most people use a lamb, L-A-M-E, which is basically, you know, a straight razor um, or, you know, a, a shaving blade that's in a little handle. And I find that they, you have to change them so frequently because if they're not super, super sharp, then uh, they, they don't cut as well. But I keep my knives very, very sharp. And this is a nice new knife I got from Wistoff. And uh, so I, I sharpen it in between each bake. So when I make the slash, it comes out pretty, pretty great. It goes, you know, it slides right through the dough. Okay, I guess I could start doing this now. It should be up soon. It's 
going to turn one over. Okay, you might also remember that I made one with seeds. So this happens to be the seeded one. And here you can see the dough. And now I'm going to make a slash. Lately I've been doing my initial A. So I'm cutting right through the seeds. Not as easy as right through the dough. Next one, you'll see it better. It should bloom better because there won't be any seeds to hide it. Okay. Oh, there you go. There are my slash marks. Let's cover it. Make sure it's nice and centered. All right. 24. Yeah. I'm going to throw it in anyway. Okay, they're in the oven. They're gonna be in for about 30, 35 minutes. And then we're gonna take the lids off and then we'll take a picture of it then. And uh, then we'll bake it probably another 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, see you later.